But yeah, like I was saying, it's it's been a challenging. But now we finally. I mean, you can see, I can I manage myself to put myself into a house like this. You know, first I came here. I was living in a one-bedroom shack. You know, very small, tiny. But now I got a living room. That's uh, enough space for me to be able to cook boil egg and. So yeah, it's been challenging, but we thank God. So what are you making for lunch? Now, boy, I go. Uh, sandwich mm -hmm. and we're making egg egg sandwich i'm making uh -huh. and i'm also um making a fried rice uh, so yeah you know african you don't live without fried rice so yes yeah okay. that's what that's what i'm doing here and is that something you're used to eating back home then? well um eggs why this one is a very luxury food in back you know coming from a village you know for me it's very that one you have to be very rich to be able to afford to eat eggs so eating it here it's uh here yeah, i understand it's that's like a poor man sort of food you know for <laughs> us for us over there yeah but for rice rice is our staple food so we eat it all the time so yeah i try to keep with the culture of course so what about food budgeting well that that was a i mean especially when i went to uni that's uh i had to live on baked beans and cans of chicken wings from saint grace and yeah so ration you know I mean, you make sure before the, the, the money the government sent for you, student loan finances sent for you to finish, you need to be able to ration it well. So yeah, baked beans and pasta, uh, that, that was my food, yeah. So, But now I can afford to buy a little bit of food because now I've been able to uh, work in now. So yeah, I can able to afford food beyond beans and baked beans. Quit her will, Natasha Blunt says she may still I'm great, very grateful and very happy so from eating baked beans and dry toast she has her health. to now being able to, to afford to eat like egg sandwich. 